curriculum stems from the Latin word for race course, referring to the course of deeds and experiences through which children grow to become mature adults. A curriculum is prescriptive and is based on a more general syllabus which merely specifies what topics must be understood and what level to achieve a particular grade or standard. This particular thing is carved according to the requirement. And the main cause, the purpose to make syllabus is whether they are getting understood or not and the level which is already predetermined is achieved or not. We have the purpose, the result before us, we have the target before us and then we design our curriculum. If I want to become something, for example, according to my requirement, I will tailor the curriculum. Curriculum is the base of an institution. Moreover, an academic, academic discipline is a branch of knowledge which is formally taught either at the university or via some other such method. Each discipline usually has several sub-disciplines or branches and distinguishing lines are often both arbitrary, illogical and ambiguous. Mathematics, computer science, social sciences, humanities and applied sciences in addition to this. Educational institution may incorporate fine arts as part of K-12 grade curriculums or within majors at colleges and universities as electives. The various types of fine arts are music, dance and theatre. Whatever is included I have shown you but I will take, I will be in a jiffy. Purpose of school, colleges, university in Pakistan in my opinion. That was the background of education and curriculum etc. Now in my opinion, why we build schools and colleges or universities in Pakistan, in my opinion, I will tell you that this is my opinion, this is my opinion, this is my feelings, this is my feelings, this is my feelings, this is my scrutiny, and the reason is to get fortune by imparting education overall. The main purpose is to get fortune. What is fortune? Stop. You can earn some money, but there is no wrong thing in it. By imparting education. By imparting education. Education ko impart karne ke baad overall and that's it. They're giving you marvelous education and in return they're getting fortune. Do you agree with me or not? Any other purpose that you have experienced? That is there in education. We are imparting education. I don't think so. Okay, anyway, if we think for example, they have open schools, what for? To make responsible citizen, to some extent or to a great extent? Agreed. To some extent or to a great extent? Agreed. But in the end we shall inshallah see the consequences or the fruit of this particular thing. Okay, let's check. Educational systems in Pakistan. Pakistan me kon kon se system jo lagu hai? Unko dekhte hai. The first system here in Pakistan is matriculation system. And the second one is ONA level system. Third one is religious education system. There are three systems. Matriculation system. Then after that you do FA, BA, ME, etc. And then we have ORA level system conducted by Cambridge University Syndicate. Okay. Offered by Cambridge University and conducted by the British Council. Pakistan. Then we have religious education systems like madrissas, etc. Either you want to do matric, either you want to do over A level, or you want to do you want to get religious education. Type one, type two, type three again. Three types are there. Maybe in type one you get something, in type two you get type two, number number two system. Type two may you uh, procure religious education system. You, you are only becoming religious thoroughly. Moreover. Levels of education system in Pakistan. Pakistan may up education system ke levels kitne hai, unko bhi check karte hai. The first system here in Pakistan is primary level, grade 1 through 5, etc. And then we have middle level, grade 6 through 8. And then we have high level or secondary education, grades 9 and 10, leading to the secondary school certificate or SSC. Then we have intermediate level, 
grades 11 and 12 leading to a high second, secondary school certificate or HSC. And then when we have the university programs leading to undergraduate and graduate degrees. Five different levels here in Pakistan. Don't forget type 1, type 2, type 3. And these are the industries in my opinion. Which are producing some individuals who require type 1, type 2, type 3. Their role is no doubt marvelous. Here now I will be discussing the production of schools, colleges and universities in Pakistan. The production. I'm not talking about how they teach. I'm not talking about the system of hiring or firing or recruiting etc. I'm not talking about examination system. I'm not at all talking about this master system etc. I'm only trying to make you know the production. Their role is marvelous but at the end are we getting our desired result or not? Because the question was, do schools, colleges and universities prepare us for real life or not? Real life, according to the people here in Pakistan, I have mentioned. If I say yes, then the results are on the board. If I say no, the results will be there on the board. After that, in the end, I will inshallah hi highlight what actually real life is and what the method is to procure real life. Okay? This is what actually I'm describing. I'm not at all suggesting anything at the moment. Three times there are, then education, then syllabus, purpose of schools and colleges, their opening, etc. And now their production. You have undergone a system, okay? You have been there in a school or college or a university. And when you complete your two years courses, three years courses, four years courses, after that, the product is there before you. And the product is, they are producing redundancy. What does it mean? Unemployment, in my opinion. They are producing clerks. They are producing laborers. There are many people will point out, point their fingers on me. They are producing the people who have poor knowledge about practical and religious life. Let us discuss for a while the other things and then I will have discussion on the topics one by one. They have poor communication skills. They have no confidence at all in my opinion. They have poor personalities. They possess poor personalities. They have greed. They have selfishness. They have corruption. They have materialism, etc. There are a list of other things I couldn't mention here because of less time. Do you agree these departments are producing redundant people? Agree or not? Agree. Clerks, what do you mean by clerks? They are, they are bachelors, they are masters, they are PhDs, but they are only able to do clerical jobs. Laborers, what do you mean by laborers? I'm a graduate, I'm a master, but I'm working as a laborer. And this is the production of school, colleges and universities. I have poor knowledge about practical life. Let us check. Do you think that after doing BA, MA, or BA, MA, Masters, or PhD, I have the knowledge about practical life? How I can spend my practical life? I have undergone a process. I have undergone a system of 10 years' coaching. 15 or 16 years' coaching. And after that, I'm dumb and deaf. I'm lethargic. I'm handicapped. Having poor knowledge about society or practical life, I can only do a clerical job because I have the de degree under my belt, nothing else, and religious life. Moreover, I have poor communication skills. I can write well, but I can't speak well. I will, sh I will shiver before people. My mouth will get dry. You can't, I can't even move properly. 
I can have proper communication skills to get interview and a job eventually. No confidence at all. I have no identity of my own. Meri apni koi identity nahi. I'm decreed. I am not no. I am. This is I am. Be a. I am. This is I am. Forget, forget about it. Let us talk about yourself. That is the main thing. Because that is basically the production of. I must say them industries. And that is our requirement. It's not their fault. What is my requirement is to get? To get what? Mineral water. And they will give you mineral water. And that's it. To quench my thirst. You're doing a great job. According to your requirement. Type 1, type 2, type 3. Done. It doesn't mean that you are not at all getting jobs. You are getting jobs. To get type 1. But if you see, you're not confident. We have poor communication skills in Pakistan. And you possess poor personalities. We don't know how to wear clothes. How to wear hair. Because of poor production. In different institutions in Pakistan, the thing which is taught there is not applicable there in our practical life. In our practical life we are learning something else. In our institution we are learning something else. And there is a collision. Our institutions are requesting to not, not to have spikes. Our institutions are requesting, demanding, forcing not to have fashionable clothes. But the society is forcing to have spikes, forcing to have fashionable clothes and there is a collision. There is a tug of war. And which is heavier, more powerful? This particular influence. The industry which is imparting more powerful knowledge is unable to convince the society to convince the society that they are right. Society education is more powerful than the education which is imparted in our schools and colleges. However, society wins. Because you are not only getting education in schools or colleges. Maybe you are getting education 10% or 20% in school or institution. 80% education you are getting somewhere else. And that particular education is more powerful than the education which is imparted in schools or different institutions. So what is their role? That they are weaker, less impressive, charging. Society is not charging anything. They are charging a lot of money. Society is not at all charging anything. Education here and education there. Their role is less powerful as compared to the role of society. But I will, inshallah, let you know why they are powerful. Getting back, greed. What do you mean by greed here? They are becoming greedy. To accumulate money. To save money. That is their purpose. I will get that particular job. And I will be earning about 200,000 rupees, etc. And they are becoming greedy. Because they, they are making you greedy. Because they have the target. Whenever we get an... For example, whenever we go to any college or school, for example. Especially foreign colleges. Our main question is that. Whether we will get a job or not. If we do, or if we get, for example... How much salary will I be getting? That is our main target. And they are telling you that this particular course will lead you there in that particular industry or organization which will give you this particular sum of money. And that's why you are studying. Type 1, type 2 and type 3. Selfishness. They are incorporating selfishness in you. 
education there in institution and society. I will show you the production of society as well. Corruption everywhere and they are there to let you know to want to warn you not to have corruption. They're telling you. They're teaching you good things. They're teaching you good things of said by different people, said by good people. Don't lie, don't be selfish, help people, etc. Okay? But when you are there in practical life, what do you spread? Corruption and materialism. And there is a list of other things which is produced by these organizations in Pakistan. And we are idiots. We know the production, but still we are getting admission there. Now let us decide or check why this is so. If there is redundancy, we are producing clerks or laborers or other sort of things for example. If I take this particular thing out, corruption, where does this come from? Any answer? From society. Society se kahan pe aati hai? Kahan se aati hai? Log kahan se aate hai? In your opinion. We make society. And where are the people from? Where we live, there is a society. I agree. Yeah. Do you not think that the people who are living in our society, they have been to any institutions? Once? Kabhi kabar wo kisi school nahi gaye? Kisi college mein nahi gaye? Gaye? In my point of view, schools does not teach us selfishness, greediness or corruption. I did not ever say they are teaching you corruption. Did I say so? They, they, they never teach us. Actually we spend seven to eight hours in the school, but we live in society 16 hours. If we learn bad things, we learn from the society, not from our schools. Our schools, our books, our teachers always teaches us good things. He has said that we spend more time in the uh, society than schools. That's why we are all adopting all the bad habits from the society. I not agree. Me. Yes. I agree. I agree. I too agree. I agree. Yes. I agree. What is the role of schools? To cultivate the intellectual. What is the role of hospitals? To make the ill person healthy. सिर्फ बीमारों को इलाज करना है। या आपको लगता है कि हॉस्पिटल्स की जिम्मेदारी बीमारियां हतम करने की होनी चाहिए थी। Yes, agree or not? Yes, I am agree. लेकिन वो बीमारी हतम तो नहीं कर रहे। No, they are just वो तो मरीजों का इलाज कर रहे। Agree or not? Yes, I am agree. Schools और universities की जिम्मेदारी क्या है? आपको educate कर रहे हैं। बीमारी को हतम करना उनका है काम कि नहीं? वो दो और दो चार पढ़ाते हैं, लेकिन हमारा fault है कि हम कहते हैं नहीं दो और दो पांच ही हैं। मैंने कहीं भी नहीं कहा कि वो selfishness पढ़ाते हैं, greed पढ़ाते हैं, आपको confidence नहीं देते हैं, मैंने नहीं कहा। ये सारा कुछ करने के बाद निकला क्या? What is the production? In 70 years, we have been able to produce three personalities in Pakistan. Four? हाँ जी, गिन के बता दीजिए। One thousand personalities, agree? One lakh good personalities in Pakistan. Or zyada karo to kehte mein kar deta hu. One crore good personalities in Pakistan. Kehte hai to thoda aur badao. Ya do crore kar lete hai. What is the total population of Pakistan? Atara crore? Atara crore se zyada hai. Do crore school or colleges ki production achi hai. Sola crore nahi hai. Who's responsible? What is there in institution? Curriculum. Vapir shalom hai curriculum ki taraf. Curriculum is designed, altered, made according to the need. Do you know that in Pakistan social studies syllabus is altered? Islamic studies curriculum is altered. Our top personalities do not want us to be educated so that we may not question them when we grow up. Agree or not? We do not 
teach our children good things because we want them to be our subordinate. They do not teach us the things which are more powerful because they, they, they fear if we teach them this particular thing they will become more educated than us and they will argue. Where will I stand then? Mere bachche mujhse zyada padh lik jayenge to mein kithe jaun?